On May 16, 2013 an international team of scientists announced that they were able to clone human stem cells. 17 years earlier, in 1996, Dolly the sheep was the first mammal cloned. Ever since, scientists tried to clone human cells. The technique used to clone Dolly is called nuclear transfer. Part of a fully developed cell is inserted into the nucleus of an egg. The egg is then manipulated to start dividing. This process was also used to clone monkeys, but certain difficulties prevented scientists from cloning human cells successfully. However, a team headed by Professor S. Mitalipov from the Oregon Health and Science University used a technique similar to the one that created Dolly the sheep, but modified certain steps in the process. The team used high-quality eggs that were donated by healthy volunteers. The team also realized that introducing the donor cell into the egg required a gentle touch. The transfer had to take place at a time when the egg was most likely to accept the new genetic material. Infusing a bit of caffeine into the cell cultures further transformed outputs. But how does nuclear transfer work? The nucleus is removed from a human egg cell. The nucleus from a skin cell is inserted in its place. An electric shock is used for fusion and the cell is manipulated to divide into new cells. Consequently an embryo starts to form. After a few days the growth of the embryo is halted. The embryonic stem cells that have been created from the donor skin cell have the ability to generate different cell types. By treating stem cells with different chemicals they can be transformed into specialized cells such as those that make up muscles, nerves and organs like the heart and liver. These cells are genetically identical to the original skin cell. Scientists were quick to point out that the purpose of cloning human cells was not to generate human clones but to produce embryonic stem cells. From these, new tissue, genetically identical to a patient's own cells, could be grow to repair cells or treat disease. Professor Mitalipov's team reported their work in a paper published online in the journal Cell. The prospects for patients whose lives could be transformed by transplants have greatly improved since this breakthrough.